All right, so like I was saying, we were gonna check out four spots today. This is the last spot I wanted to check out. Save the best for last, huh? But uh, we're using uh, the little 10 foot John boat to uh, get me down the river here. If you got a kayak, a canoe, any of these tools can be real uh, helpful and to get to this hard to reach public land. So uh, if you look up on uh, DNR managed land, you know, and you see a spot that's real hard to access, that's got uh, some waterway that you can use, I'd get your kayak, canoe, whatever you got, and get out there and try it out and, uh, and get back on that land and just uh, see what you can find. I'm gonna be uh, pulling this ashore here pretty soon, so once I get up in there, uh, we'll see what we got for you. Here, let me show you the deer trails real quick. You know, and they're just kind of going everywhere. There's a pretty good one on the way in here where it's just one solid trail, but uh, and it's got a lot of deer tracks in it. All the taller reeds with the, still got the fuzzies on top there. It's uh, probably knee high or more there. It's probably two foot, two foot of water in there. So definitely a good spot for some deer to be back in. Um, just can't get to them right now, so. I got a tree picked out over here that that main trail is kind of coming out down towards the river there. Um, I got a tree picked out that I can get a climber in so um, I might just have to have to use that. It's a little farther away than I want to be but by sitting over there um, I'm not going to hurt anything. I'm going to be able to hunt this spot again probably because I can sit way over there and I can watch this, uh, you know it's not quite as tall out here pretty mashed down out in the middle and uh, I can watch with the binoculars out here and see what time the deer are getting out here and uh, if they're getting out here the last 10 minutes before dark they're just right where I'm at and uh, they're not gonna be able to get to me over there then I'm gonna have to do something to get closer but all right so I'm back over by these trees that I was thinking about using my climber in and uh, I'll show you the main trail that's kind of coming right up over by it and uh, see how it's kind of flattened out, flattened down out here in spots. So, like I said, if those deer are coming from over there, um, I'm also got my binos and keeping a good eye, I can probably catch them coming over this way. But, uh, you can see this is a pretty good beaten down path here. Just cut right through the cattails. And there's uh, a lot of deer tracks in it. <laughs> and you can see the, uh, the DNR has been back here with one of their little buggies. Cruising on around back here, so. You know, it's kind of a good thing. Might create a little funnel for the deer to come walking on down through here. You know, I haven't seen any real big buck tracks or anything in here, but I think this might be a decent spot to set up. Right here, it's fairly open. I can get an arrow down through here. Right there's the tree I'm gonna use. I got a pretty decent background cover up there with those other trees, being a group of four of them up there. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me here, and uh, hopefully we can show you guys some footage taking down a deer in one of these spots I've been showing you where we've been hanging all these different sets. All right, before I go, I had to do one last thing. I had a camera with me, so I went ahead and hung that right on this uh, main little ridge here, and uh, hopefully we can get a deer or two coming along this trail. All right, well, you might notice that all these trail cam videos here are through all different times of the day. This deer that's actually walking through right now is the deer that we passed up that uh, we didn't have a real good shot at. But they're coming through at 10 o'clock, noon, 2 o'clock. It doesn't really matter because there's been a low human pressure. And that's why we're going through the extra effort to hunt these types of areas.
it's October 28th. The rut's getting real close. So, uh, never know. Might have a buck cruising up on top of this, sniffing out some does. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can put the old man on one and uh, get himself a buck or no. We'll see. But thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, keep on bringing us some uh, neat videos like these from the woods. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Public Land Hunters. Today, we're getting pretty creative here. We're out on the little river here with a 10-foot John boat. I'll give you a little view of it here. This is a, a spot that you can pretty much only access by boat, kayak, canoe, and uh, it's a spot the deer aren't getting pressured very much. So once we get up in the stand, hopefully we can uh, get a few deer coming in here this evening and uh, show you the action. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, you made a real good job. She's down. <laughs> well, folks, it's, uh, I think putting an end to the chapter here for this hunting year. Got my dad out earlier in the season and uh, put down a nice 10 pointer. And uh, he said he wanted to go get a doe, so here we are. Uh, we weren't in the stand, but a couple minutes we had a yearling bucket looked like come by, and then we had uh, we had another doe come right under our stand here, and went about an hour without seeing anything, and uh, another doe came out in a small looked like four point six point buck, started chasing around, and uh, I think he kind of brought her right over here to us. So, worked out perfect. Nice 18 yard shot. She's down. Really nice blood right here. I don't know how you get oh, all kinds of that. Oh, yeah. You got it right there? Yeah. <laughs> he thought he lost the blood trail and uh, he's. He went back just a little ways. Oh, we got one here. Yeah. There she is. 
Nice deer. Pretty nice snow. Yeah. Sure is. That's uh that's our third hunt we've been out on together in the last few days and I think all of them have been pretty dang good. Not bad for a three day hunt, huh Matt? <laughs> I'd say so, it's pretty. It's been pretty dang good. We got her all drug out here. Uh, just drug it right back to where he shot the deer. Had about 18 yards and she only went about 40 yards and uh, got her tagged here and just wanted to get a little uh, footage here before we get her all gutted out. It's a nice looking doe and uh, it's just the second one and uh, on your third hunt. Yep, third hunt. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, all of our hunts this year, all three of them, we haven't been in the stand for more than a couple minutes. So we've had uh, deer right under our feet, so it's been pretty, pretty exciting three days. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Matt. Uh, I guess I finally had a good season here after being out of out of uh, the loop for the last 13 years. So it's one heck of a good start. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks.